Hi there. Are you ready to install your 600 XL3 pressure reducing valve? Great. I'll go through the steps and throw in some tips to save you some time and labor along the way. You'll need the following tools to complete the installation. Before installing your 600 XL3, make sure to flush your water line to remove any loose dirt, debris, or scale that could damage the seal ring or seat. Install your 600 XL3 in line using the appropriate connections and thread tape if needed. The valve may be installed in a horizontal or vertical position as long as the arrow on the 600 XL3 is pointing downstream. When installing the 600 XL3, make sure to leave enough room around the unit for testing, inspection, and maintenance. The 600 XL3 will come preset to reduce line pressure to approximately 50 PSI, which is suitable for many applications. Install a pressure gauge downstream of the 600 XL3 for reference during installation while verifying proper function or adjusting the pressure setting. To readjust the reduced pressure, loosen the outer lock nut and turn the adjustment bolt. Turn the bolt clockwise into the bell housing to raise the reduced pressure. Do not bottom out the adjustment bolt on the bell housing. To lower the reduced pressure, turn the bolt counterclockwise out of the bell housing. Once you have reached the desired setting, tighten the lock nut. For accuracy and to prevent fouling of the valve's seal, Zern recommends flowing a trickle of water from a downstream fixture while adjusting or setting the reduced pressure. Anytime a pressure reducing valve is adjusted, a pressure gauge must be used downstream to verify you've achieved the correct pressure setting. Well, that just about does it. If you need additional guidance, you can always reach out to our expert team for support. Thanks for installing your 600 XL3 pressure reducing valve with us today. We hope you found this tutorial useful. And check out our huge library of other installation and troubleshooting videos on our YouTube channel.